I've had the opportunity to work with Dan and Shay four or five times. I've produced shows for them in Las Vegas, Orlando, and Virginia. And when I worked with them, it was right before they just exploded onto the scene. I mean, Tequila had just been released, and so they had started really quickly rising. But uh, I was able to kind of catch that wave for a short period of time, which was an incredible experience. And working with those gentlemen was an absolute pleasure. You know, on one of the last last videos I did, someone sent me a message and asked me some spe a specific question with respect to the advance for a show and when I talked about a writer. For those of you that aren't aware, an artist has a technical and a hospitality writer, meaning it's a basically a document that says for the show production, these are the elements and pieces of equipment that they need. And for their catering, you know, when you get them food and everything for the green room, this is a list of everything that they need. Um, people like to make jokes about, oh, are you the guy sorting the green M&Ms or the red M&Ms? This never happened. It will never happen. I will never do that, even if asked. <laughs> so uh, certainly did not happen with Dan and Shay. Those guys are nothing but pros. So I, uh, so I just wanted to explain that to clear that up for the people that aren't aware. And then when you make an offer to an artist, that is a part of that negotiation, talking about the writer. You know, what exactly is in it? You know, do you want to make sure that they don't have 15 bottles of Don Julio 1942 or Louis the Thirteenth? because if you sign a contract and that's in there, they might hold you to it. Um, most people are cool. They will work through that uh, advance on the rider after contract. Um, technical, it's a little bit more difficult sometimes, but uh, you know, for this particular show, it was acoustic. A lot of the shows I do are acoustic because it, it uh, lends itself to being a lot more intimate in nature for a smaller crowd, which most of my shows are. And uh, you can really create a really up close and personal uh, engaging experience for the people. It's also cheaper than a, uh, than a full band show, but, uh, you know, certainly does not diminish the quality of the show nonetheless, because, uh, when you have an artist like, uh, Dan and Shay on stage, you still get blown away, whether it's a full band show or, uh, or an acoustic show. So feel very fortunate. I had the chance to work with them when I did, and I couldn't be happier for the success that they're having right now. Uh, after going on tour with Kenny this summer, um, wish him nothing but the best. And, uh, you know, you never know, maybe our paths will cross again sometime, sometime down the road. Hope you all enjoy this.